we've had a partnership for the last 10 or 11 years uh, to the point where they ride with us every single day. They ride with the Providence police officers, they stay in roll call, and they go out and cater to young men and women in the community who are traumatized with violence or who have things going on in their life where they've been exposed to, uh, to violence or to uh, emotionally traumatized situations. So it's an important feature. I think it's one of the uh, most innovative and groundbreaking law enforcement uh, initiatives in the country, I would say. And we're happy to be part of it and partners with Family Service. It's a collaborative, joint response. The police don't just call us and refer us cases. They respond with us. Or in the context of a ride-along, we stop and we work with them as real partners. So that's, that's the key to the success of this program. This type of city, we have first responders and, and police officers that do a great job. However, they're there at a scene for a period of time and then they have to move on to the next call. What Family Service does for us and Christine does for us is that important follow-up. Um, I've dealt, I've worked with so many different people. Um, I actually call them survivors. Like each person has a, a different time in their life where they need help. Um, it might be where um, a domestic violence case, for example, it's gotten very severe or it's early on in the stage where they just feel that, you know, something's going to go wrong. I've been here for about 10 years. I've been riding, I've been doing ride-alongs with the province police and I basically get involved with numerous types of calls. It could be a homicide, it could be a wayward disobedient child, uh, anything with like narcotics if they're going to do a raid or a warrant, search warrant if there's going to be kids in the house to try and reduce the trauma for the kids. We can use the trauma knowledge that we have to respond at the, at the time of an incident, which is the best way to respond, to help a family find safety, find security, find resources. It's a relationship building that we, we do care for the people in the community and we're working together to get them help. Because mm -hmm. if we didn't have family service to do that, then it would just, maybe they'd, they'd have that same look at police. I know we're making a difference through this collaboration. I know lives are being saved and futures are being made. Law enforcement can't really operate effectively without people like this. Family Service provides a great off-site for us to sit and down and mentor and mellow our people, but also the victims of crime or major accidents, talking to them, they're great. It, it's as simplistic as that. It's the collaboration between the community and law enforcement is the only way to go. People around the country are paying attention to what we're doing in Rhode Island. I have people coming in from out of state who attend the Providence Command staff meetings. They want to learn about what we're doing. It would be so wonderful to have money and time to write this up, develop this as a national initiative, and begin to talk about disseminating it through some of these other organizations that have been approaching us. Um, I think we've really developed an excellent, um, innovative practice.